Hi guys! Welcome to another video. Today I am doing my embarrassing series I have not finished yet. Now these are ones that I think all the books are out for. There's one I'm not sure about just because I haven't read the series or been keeping up with it. But that I started or read at least the first one and then have not read any more. Some of them I don't plan on finishing unless you guys decide to convince me otherwise. And some of them I am kind of on the edge about. But either way, they are all really embarrassing because a lot of people really love these books and I just, I don't, I just haven't read them. So the first series is the Selection Series by Kira Cass. I have heard so many good things about this and the cover is pretty and I bought the first one intending to read this series and I read the back and it says, it means turning her back on her secret love with Aspen. My sister's name is Aspen. So I read that and immediately kind of went, Ugh. nope. So I know that sounds so silly, but I don't know if I could like read her making out with a boy that's my sister's name. It's just weird. It's just weird. Like I've encountered a book with my brother's name as a love interest and I just couldn't do it. I don't know why. I'm probably a weirdo, but yeah, and I've heard lots of good things about this. I just don't know if that's something I could get past and I feel like I'd be giggling the whole time thinking about that. I don't know if Aspen is somebody that's present in the other books or anything. Maybe without ruining anything somebody could let me know and if the series is worth checking out. The next series is the His Fair Assassin series. I read Grave Mercy. I loved it. I thought it was so 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 good. I picked up the second one and I just couldn't get into it. I don't know if it had been a while since I read this one or what my problem was, but I know the third and final one just came out in October, I think it was, and everybody says it's so great. I just have not gotten around to it and I'm not sure if I'm going to. The next series, which is quite possibly the most embarrassing one, is... Yeah, the Divergent series by Veronica Roth. I really like the first book. I think the first book is really fun and I think it's great and I thought it was interesting. I picked up the second one and I just could not get into it. Like not even a bit. And I've tried picking it up a few times and I just can't get into it. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I didn't love the movie and I know the second movie's coming out so maybe I'll watch the movie then read the book but I never do that. That's not the way I roll. I just... I don't know what it is, but I just can't get back into it after the first book. I, but I want to because I've heard so many good things about it, but I just, I, I don't know if I can. Okay, another awful embarrassing one. Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. I really liked these books. I just read them a couple months ago. Like, I, you know, they've been around for a while and I read the first one a long time ago and then just never got back to it. And I found a bunch of them at the bookstore for really cheap. So I picked up like, I think it was the first three books and read them. And I thought they were so good. And I was really, really surprised because vampires are so overdone usually. But this was really great. I haven't read the last two books, I think. I just think I kind of spread it out too thin and then waited a long time to get the next book in the series and then tried to start it and couldn't remember what was going on. So I might reread this series because I remember I loved it. I just don't own the last two books. So I don't know if I'm going to have time for it or if I'm going to ever get the last two books or... I don't know. I don't know. And then if I don't finish this series, I can't read the Bloodline series, which I've heard great things about too. At least I don't think I can. Can I read the Bloodline series if I haven't finished this series? Can somebody tell me, please? The next series is the Graceling series by... Who's it by? Oh, Kristen Cashore. I love this first book. I love Fire even more. And then I got to Bitter Blue, which I was really, really excited to read because we were re revisiting Katza and Poe. And I couldn't, I could not get into it. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. I liked Bitter Blue just fine. I liked the two boys. I don't remember what their names are, but I, I got halfway through it and just could not get into it. I would really like to finish this series because I love the writing, I love the world, I love the characters, and I I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh god, okay, the next <laughs> book series I have yet to finish, The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I 
really liked the first book. I've got the second book behind me somewhere over there and I had kind of a hard time with the second one. I couldn't get into it as much. I really love Liam. I really love Chubbs. Is it Chubbs? That sounds weird to say that out loud as somebody's name but I'm pretty sure that's what his name was. I really 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 like them. I just had a hard time getting through the second book and because of that I have had little to no interest in finishing the series with the third book that came out. I don't know. I mean I know I should read it. Everybody's been reading it and they're talking about how great of a conclusion it is and everything but I don't know. It just... I don't know. I don't know you guys. I. I don't know if I have to be in the mood for it or if it's just never going to do it for me, but it's it's up in the air for sure. You guys are going to hate me for this one. I already have so many friends that hate me for this one. City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Or I guess the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. I haven't read these in a while, but I used to be the biggest friggin' fan of these books ever. Seriously, like Jace was my life. I loved these books. And then I had to wait a little bit for the fourth one to come out and I read it and I was like okay but then you know we, I've had to wait so much and with that I really have gotten back into books. When I read the series I wasn't as hardcore of a reader as I am now and I haven't read the last two books yet and I want to buy them. I kind of didn't want to put them on my Christmas wish list because the covers I think are hideous and embarrassing and I would have been relentlessly teased by my parents and my family. So I should just suck it up and buy them myself and finish it, but I, I just, I don't know. It's like I've got this block. I don't know if I'm just scared that if I reread these books I'm going to hate them because it has been a while, or I'm scared that the series ending is going to stink, or I don't know what, but I know I need to finish them because this used to be my life. I just, I can't bring myself to do it right now for some reason. Okay guys, those are all the embarrassing series I have not finished yet that I could think of for this video. I, it's hard. It's hard when you've got so many books to read and you don't know if a series is worth your time or not because I could spend my time finishing it and it could suck when I could be reading better books. <sighs> Being a book nerd is so hard, you guys. So let me know if you guys have any comments on those books. Tell me if they're good, if they're worth finishing, if they're not worth finishing. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.